Brian. How can I help you? Hey, how you doing, sir? Not too bad. Which one are you looking at? <laughs> That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down. Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Antro Mike back with another video. And right now it is Friday afternoon and I've been looking for a load to pick up Monday so I can go ahead and get back OTR. So I'm gonna really just show you guys how I book a non-CDL hotshot load, some tips that can help you as far as dispatching. I may not get a load booked during this time, but I'm just trying to kind of give you guys a sense of what I look out for when looking for loads, especially now while fuel prices are high. I'm trying to avoid pretty tall loads and heavy loads, trying to stay light, low, and not tarped if possible. But you can't tell the market what you're going to do. Sometimes you got to go with what the market, market offers unless you're willing to be a little more patient. So I may not end up booking a load Friday, which they do post loads in advance sometimes, but I may end up having to book Monday morning. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and drop a comment down on what you want to see next or just, shoot, just drop the city you're from Drop Entra in the comments. Drop something so we can spread this type of information out there for the people who are new and trying to learn how to navigate a load board. And if you want to use the same load board that I'm using, Power DAT, check the link in the description. If you fill everything out using my link, you'll get a free 30 days and access to call on and book loads with DAT. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Yo, yo, yo. So now we're on the load board. This is Power DAT, like I said. And... I'm kind of gonna just show you guys how the load board looks when it's live. Um, many loads may not pick up because, like I said, these are loads in advance for Monday. But I'm gonna kind of show you my setup and how I prepare to book a load. I'm not gonna go deep into detail training. I'm just gonna kind of show you what it's like, what a broker uh, negotiation is like, and how I deal with it. I don't have the most experience, and I'm not an expert, but I'm just showing you how it is live. So. This is another carrier um, I'm looking for out of Ohio. Don't really pay no mind about that. So I got flatbed, flatbed hot shot, and step deck in. I'm going to be completely honest. Usually I never put step deck or flatbed in because a lot of the times you'll call on them or you can kind of just look in the comments for some of them and they'll say no hot shots. So let's see if we can get an example in here. See, the first one I clicked on, man, look, for a flatbed load. No hot shots. Now, is it because the equipment is too big for a hot shot trailer? No, it's mainly because they maybe have had bad experiences with hot shots. Hot shots tend to partial and be late to a lot of pickup and drop offs where they can dedicate uh, a full dedicated truckload to a, a semi and just not worry about it. You get what I'm saying? So. And also because a lot of hot shots don't have air ride. But um so yeah, it's a lot of brokers. I won't say they discriminate against hot shots or box trucks sometimes with the van side, but it's just the reality. It's a lot of loads we're not able to get. So if you want to be realistic, you can really trim this down. If you want to trim it down, you can really just trim it down to flat bed hot shot. And I'm operating out of right now one of Robbins, Georgia, middle Georgia area. Um, with the dead head of 150 miles availability for Monday. I could put Monday and Tuesday, but I'm really trying to leave Monday. So um, for full of both, I put both. That way you can see if it's a full truck load or a partial truck load. Length, I put 40 feet because I am available to get four feet of ink overhang. Yeah, I can have technically four feet of overhang, even though I try to stay away from loads like that. But you guys kind of see as I call them loads, why I put 40 foot in. And then for the weight, 10,000 pounds. I'm going to redo the search. And this is like, like I said, this is probably like basic on how to negotiate with partials and stuff like that. So you got this load right here. How I'm thinking about this load right here, that's picking up in Augusta going to Davidsville, Maryland. 
20 feet, 3,400 pounds, you think, oh, that sounds like a pretty decent partial rate. And it is, especially if you get about $1,000 for it. But you have to think about it now. Fuel is over $5 a gallon. If you book this load alone by itself, and with your deadhead, you got 149 miles plus 575 miles. Let's just do the math. That comes up to 724 miles. So you thought that it was 850 for 575, but you got to keep in head what your deadhead miles are. So now you got 724 miles. A lot of people say, you know, you got popular channels that say $2 a mile for anything that hits your truck. So that would be $1,450. That's almost twice the rate that's on the board. Now, what you can do is use this same method to kind of put in where you would want to have a load. You get what I'm saying? Best case scenario, 20 feet of space. Honestly, I get a lot of truck load dedicated rates that are 20 feet of space, 3,000 pounds. Um, but it's not the case always. You got other loads like this one um, that's going to Laredo, Texas. And keep in mind, too, you got to keep in mind the type of market you're going to. So Maryland, Northeast, not really a bad market. You got Pennsylvania, uh, anything south of Maryland, I would kind of, I wouldn't say stay away, but you got Pennsylvania, New Jersey. It's a lot of freight coming out of there. Um, but when you got something like Laredo, Texas, and they're only paying a dollar loaded miles, it's not a good look because Laredo, Texas does not have a lot of freight. It's like at the bottom of Texas. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try to give you guys an example, just call them a load. And wing it. So you'll see if they have it here for a partial or full. And as you can see, all but the New York one, even though it's posted for both, they're all partials. This is what the game is turning to. It's just a bunch of partial loads. But I'm going to go ahead and call on a load. Going from Leesburg to Perrys Perrysburg, I can already tell, is what, 903 miles. So you already know I'm asking for at least about $2,000. But let's see how it goes when I ask for it. And you also want to pay attention to the credit score and if it has a check or not because usually that'll show if they're factorable so what i'll do is i'll go into rts good lord and i'll kind of show you my screen as i do it i'll go into rts i'll press correct credit check credit and i'll hit the mc number and i'm going to do what is it one two four five oh one two four five eight five two and i'm gonna search it and they have a d so if they don't have an a b or c you won't be able to factor the load meaning you won't probably won't get that payment within the first one to three days unless they have quick pay but just for an example we're going to call on this load and kind of see where they're at hello you've reached golden gate group if you know your party's extension Dial That's the extension. Record your message and press pound or press star to contact the operator. It's tough. So that load is probably already covered for the day. This is Ryan. How can I help you? Hey, how you doing, sir? Not too bad. Which one are you looking at? Uh, so I'm looking <laughs> at that Augusta, Georgia, uh, dropping off in Maryland. Picking up on Monday for a flatbed hot shot. Yep, you got uh, ramps on your your setup. Yes, sir. What type of uh, what's the commodity? Uh, we're moving some landscape uh, equipment. It's usually lawnmowers and stuff because it's delicious. picking up at a yard and then and then that stuff's going to a golf course. Okay, like what is it? Streets and stuff like that. Yep, fourteen I'm, feet. Okay. And no carp, thirty four hundred pounds. She's trying to be in the 850 range on the read for a partial. Okay. Um, what type of equipment do I need to secure? Is it, I got six chains and binders. Do, is it chain or is it just strap and go? I would think you'd want to put straps on it. Okay. Just so there's, so you're not cranking down that chain on the equipment. Cause it's not very heavy stuff. Okay. Um, yep. How close to, because uh, you know fuel is insane now. So you're saying it's only 14 feet, it's posted for 20. Uh, there's a good chance I screwed that up. She's got three different partials coming out of there right now. Yeah, because if it's, if it's 14, I think I can. 14, my other two were 20, so I, I Okay. Yeah. Um, how close to 
thirteen hundred you think you can get for me? Or can you put in a bid and see? And that's just a dollar eight. Yeah, I can check with the outside sales lady. I don't know if she can go that high. I can find out. It's really just my dead head. I wish I was close to the area, but I'm 149 miles out. And uh, sure. I know it's MC so. number. And when do they want to deliver? It's a partial. Okay. Open. Okay, Monday. She's got till next Friday in there for a window. So Perfect. There's no super rush for it. String trucking? Yes, sir. And you said what, 13? Yes, sir. I can check with her and see what she's uh, able to do if I get you that rate. Do you want to do this load on Monday? Yes, sir. All righty. I got you. What's your best number? Let me grab that from you. All right, ma'am. Let me get over to Holler. And if I can get close to that, I will help get back with you, okay? Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. And just by that call, you can kind of tell that broker may have had a little more in on that freight than it's posted for. Now, he kept saying he could go back to his customer. Keep in mind, that's a great point to really shoot your shot. So what I did, 1300 is a pretty high rate for 575 miles, even for a regular dedicated truck load. But you guys got to understand it really kind of depends on how quickly she needs it. He also told me the load wasn't needed till next Friday. So nine times out of 10, I may not be getting a call back, but if I do with my dead head, that's $1.80 for 14 feet of space, going to a lane that's pretty freaking popular out of Georgia. Like my most expedite, like my most popular lane is probably going up 95 from Georgia to New Jersey. So I'm pretty sure I could find another 10, 15, 20 feet going into the same direction. So like I said, that's that, I'm gonna probably wrap it up with that. Uh, like I said, I knew asking for what, 1450 or 1500 would have probably just been way out of their reach. That's almost probably twice the rate. But at the same time, don't be afraid to ask. There's nothing wrong with asking. You will get that leprechaun load to call back. And while you're looking the same day, you might find something going to the same direction. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just leave it at that. I wish there was a load available at the time, but I probably have to start this back on Monday when the load is a little more active during the same day as to actually book a load. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down what you want to see next. Uh, like I said, this is live training. You guys see a load just popped up going from Cartersville to Texas, but I'm just opening you guys up to what the rates are posted for and the reasons they are. It's usually... If something is expedited, some if something is needed ASAP, they're gonna pay money for it. If they don't need it for two to three weeks, they'll let it sit into that person who's going home or needing fuel to go to the same direction or really just need six feet of space going to the same spot for a dollar a mile. That's what that's the game brokers are playing now. So you kind of gotta adapt to it, sell yourself, be honest, and be reasonable. I hope you guys, like I said, really enjoy it. Peace. If I can't do it, then it ain't real. I just make dollars, I don't make deals. I've been going hard in the paint, still blowing pitch clouds till I can't feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you slide with me.